Yo, what's going on, 60 Sam Lander Squad? Just remember that one sub is 10 cents to a charity for the entirety of 2022. And also, if you have any kind of gem or battle pass needs on PC, go ahead and click the Nexus link in the description. We are playing Freya today uh, for this video. Ba mainly, well, okay, there's two reasons. One, <clears throat> I'm just tryharding right now. It's pretty much the first day of the season. I mean, not literally speaking it's the second day but but um the, everyone knows the first day that a patch comes out smites down like 90 percent of the day so it's pretty much the first day of the season so everyone is going to be trying to get their rank back if they were in masters you get kicked out of masters the diamond one so there's a lot of masters players queuing right now well masters and gm players queuing um trying to get to back to their rank masters or gm as well as there's a lot of people that aren't masters or gm level players that are trying to hit those ranks really early on because as many of you know uh you only have to touch the gm rank in order to get the border at the end of the season so what a lot of people will do is the day that the new season comes out or the new split comes out they'll grind as hard as they can to get to GM in, you know, the first couple days. Because it's the easiest time to do it, you know? It's, uh... If you... You don't need that much MMR to be GM super early in the season. You just have to hit Master's rank and you're pretty much there, you know? <laughs> um, so there's a lot of people grinding and a lot of people playing to win, so... I kind of got to do the same thing myself. Uh, we alt this here. Oh, don't do it to me. So that's why the, the second reason that I'm doing try hard stuff. And the main reason is that is the secondary reason. Like I said, the main reason is that I'm number one in the world right now. And I'm going to, you know, try hard until I lose. And then once I lose, fuck it. The coups and bows, the atlases, the the <laughs> the fucking Aries, like all that stuff comes out once I lose one game. So until then, we vibe, and then after then, we vibe, but with memes. It's gonna be fun. It is going to be fun. Are you actually dead here, though? Yes, you are. Holy crap! Just absolutely ass blasted. Meditation is so good. Not even for the HP it gives you. Mainly for the mana it gives you. Like, I think meditation is... Well... I was going to say the best level 3 relic. But Shell is up there too. I mean... If you're not mana hungry at all, then Shell is probably better. You definitely do not win these fights. Although I will say, nice enthusiasm. He's backing out. We're just going to clear waves. There's nothing up on the map for me yet. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill. Did I not hit my last... Did I not hit my last uh, alt tick or my last auto there? Oh, I am so deceased. I'm so deceased. Ah! Oh, he has Itchaval too, my guy. This is not going to go well for me. Oh, hide, please. Be back. No, <laughs> I was so close. <clears throat> I was so close. The itch of all. The itch of all stopped me. Good alt. Good play, man. Uh, I'm definitely not letting you get that red buff. Okay, maybe I don't have a choice. You got there really fast. Oh, 
there's no shot, bro. No, he got the red and he lived. Yo, that itch of all? Maybe a, a little bit underrated. <clears throat> he actually got back in the game. He actually got back in the game with that. That's crazy. He killed me, got blue and red. All right. I went a little bit too troll. And I paid the price. And I gave him... Not an advantage, but... Security. <clears throat> now I have to rip it away from him. Alright. Nice. Massive kill. We're back, boys. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. That minion wave is going to go in the tower. I'm going to grab these and then I'll go... Well, I was going to say I'll go back for breastplate, but honestly, I'll just wait until I have this breastplate, which gives you 15% less basic attack damage received from enemies after you ult. So that's really good against hunters. Do not win this. Amazing kill. Amazing kill. Oh, that's surrender. All right. Well, I uh, guess I'll mash this game together with another game. Probably another Freya game, because I would like to keep these videos to just one god. I'll see, though. We'll see. Obviously, I won't pick Freya if there's, like, you know, better mage ADCs open, but we'll see. Hmm. See you in game two, boys. Welcome back to game number two, boys. I picked Freya again, even though there was there was other things open, like Kronos was open and Bastet was open and stuff like that, but... <clears throat> I figured I'll play Freya. If they picked Bastet, more than likely I would have lost. Because Bastet blocking two of Freya's autos basically means she loses the fight. <clears throat> but, lucky for me, I guess he didn't want to play Bastet. I am fighting a Chiron, so I got to be a little bit careful. His ability damage is going to be nuts. And also the new Atalanta's bow has 20% crit chance on it. So, I might be getting crit this game. Not like I'll buy crit, but like I'm going to get hit with a crit. These aren't the wards you is what I mean. Alright, are you showing up here? Do I win the level 3 against a Chiron? I can't imagine I do, right? Minions have spawned. <clears throat> but I guess we'll find out. Um, no, I definitely do not. Ow. That being said, he did use everything he had on me and not the wave. But then again, so did I, so never mind. <coughs> His shell. Mm. And that blue stone hurts. Uh, stop clearing for a second, please. This is a bad... I'm in a bad spot. Mm. I'm in a very bad spot here. Um. Mm. Damn, he cleared wave. Oh my god, I didn't even hear him ult. I didn't even hear him ult. I had mana to ult. And I would have ulted if I heard him ult. But he didn't. But he didn't. What the hell, man?
I have to give him red. I can't miss a whole wave this early. That sucks. Okay, I'm in a really bad position this game. I need to focus up. And it was all because I tried to win a level 3 fight when I thought that I couldn't anyways. So stupid. Oh, he didn't even do red. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. I got the red buff, but it's not exactly like I'm feeling the greatest, you know what I mean? Get my blue too. Alright, you know what? Actually, I'm not feeling too bad right now. I'm not feeling too bad. Let's go back. Get that ring of Hecate. I don't want to stay and greet it because his alt probably does somewhere around 400 damage. And then his two after that and the fact that I'm going to get hit by 50 or more by bluestone. I'm looking at taking about 800 damage from his whole combo there with his alt and his two. Uh, maybe not 800. That's a bit exaggerated. Maybe like 600. <clears throat> so, reading that, maybe I could live. Maybe. But I would have to use my med. Just not worth. He probably got this, right? We did it. Okay. Alright, so we've made a bit of a comeback in the sense that, you know, even though he killed me, I got two buffs and an XP camp. All right, dash down. Here. Waiting there. I'm by me. Oh. I used med to try to get that kill. It sucks that he got away. Dash being slow immune. Damn, man. I almost had him. I almost had him. Let's just go breastplate here. This is a much more intense game than the last game was. For sure. Tyron is good, man. He's good. We're I mean, definitely not better than Freya. But. He's a good god. Red's... Coming up soon. It's up now. Yeah, he did just full burst it there. Okay. <clears throat> you hit level 11 off that wave. You don't. So you're not ahead in XP than I am. Which is very good for me. Uh, hello. Ouch. This blue is not spawning for a while, so I'm pretty good on just waiting for that. The fact that he just tried to hit me with that was really dumb. Which again, is good for me. Uh, he's probably going to want to get his blue. There's honestly not much I could do to stop him. I did win that poke battle. Okay. Gonna 
go ahead and probably dash that way. All right. Dude, this game is just weird, honestly. Like, between him trying to poke me and also, like, taking these pseudo fights and using his abilities kind of incorrectly, but also kind of correctly, like, it's just a weird dynamic we have right now. Me and this Chiron. We have a weird dynamic. And I still have all two for if I need it. It doesn't look like I do yet. I'll go ahead and back here. Because I will get this. Nice, Second relic, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to blink, to be honest with you. I think if, uh, if I can blink on him after he dashes away. We're in for some pretty easy kills. But, all in all, we've caught back up to completely even. In fact, actually ahead in XP. Or ahead in XP and even in gold, so... That's really good. We've made our comeback, now it's time to not throw it. Which is easier said than done. Doesn't know where I am. Oh, dude, ray of damage is nothing to be trifled with. It does pump zombies. All right, he dashed away. I am okay with that. Probably wants red. Yeah, I'll let you go ahead and waste your alt. My burst damage is not so. So we are going to go ahead and while he's trying to circle around, I'm just going to use my two and my one combo to clear red. And then I'm going to ignore the fact that he exists and I'm going to go do my blue buff. I have upgraded breastplate, so whenever I do alt, whenever I land my... Uh, I'm not going to be taking too much damage from his autos. I'm going to be taking 15% less, which is nice. I actually wonder if maybe, <coughs> excuse me, wonder if maybe the other breastplate would have been better. The other tier four. <coughs> Gosh. That was very good for me, actually. Actually very good for me. Because now he has to make the decision between blue buff or wave. Mm, that was a, a nice 444 damage. But not enough to kill. Um, I'm really not scared of him, am I? He's just going to try to dash through me. Then I want to slow. And then I want to, after I get my initial slow, I want to make sure I proc my two and my one combo. Okay, come on, two. Nice. My lifesteal and my meditation carried that. I definitely took enough damage to die there. I mean, I took 1100 damage just from the tower alone from diving. So. The fact that we got the kill and lived, got the tower, gonna grab the wave here. Also. Like, that's just a massive, massive lead for me. Huge, huge lead. And I'm sitting on 4k gold too. Don't forget that. I'm going to go for the upgraded tier 4 rod. The one that gives you attack speed when you have power. And then I think I will actually go blink here. And now that I have the rod, all I have to do is build some attack speed and some power. And I'm and I'm chilling. So, I mean, Telkines, uh, Hasten Ring, stuff like that. I am all good to go. 
should have bold demon, but it doesn't matter too much. I have five stacks of uh, nimble rod, which means I have an extra 10% attack speed from Rod of Tahuti, which is pretty insane. <clears throat> My damage is gonna be bumping now. Holy shit. I'm gonna be swinging hard. With red buff, I actually have 14% more attack speed. Uh, hello? That was weird. It wasn't, like, it didn't bug. It just wasn't shooting. I mean, it, I guess technically it bugged, but like... I wasn't lagging or anything. It just wasn't shooting out the two. Who knows? All I know is my damage is nuts right now. Absolutely cracked. He is going Deathbringer. I guess he's going for that Malice one. The one that lowers cooldowns. It is super good. It has no internal cooldown, which is what makes it completely broken. That means, because I know a lot of people don't know terms like internal cooldown. It means every single crit you do lowers your attack or lowers your uh, your cooldowns. With the old Malice, the the actual crit item called Malice, <clears throat> um, it had a 10 second internal cooldown. So only once every 10 seconds could it proc. This one doesn't matter. This one is uh, it says, fuck it, who cares? Are you okay? You ulted for your blue, didn't even get it, and then lost the fight and dashed away. That's got to feel bad. I'm also okay with trading because my lifesteal is crazy. Because I'm doing so much damage because of the, uh, the rod. And in fact, I could actually just go Bancrofts right now, believe it or not. Bancrofts would be really nice. It'd give me a lot of power, which would help with my attack speed. And he has no anti-heal. You know what? Let's go Bancrofts. I'm down for that. Oh, actually, Typhons is probably better. Let's go blast some of these Typhons is better. Because I already have some lifesteal. And I have built in lifesteal my passive. So, Typhons is going to be better for me than Rod. Or not Rod, I'm sorry. Than Banc Bancrofts. And now we'll go Talkine's last item. Um, there's really not much I can do here. I just am poking at his... Just poking at his Phoenix. Alright, he does have his crits. He doesn't have the tier 4 yet, though. He only has the tier 3. I guess he's backing right now to get tier 4. What other tier 4s can I go here? Oh, only the... Only the Heart Ward one. It's good, but I mean, why would I get it? Where's Chiron? Especially when I have the magic defense anyways. Or physical defense. Well, I mean... I guess I do have physical defense, but I don't need magical. I have red buff. Uh, 12 stacks of... Nimble Rod, which is 24% attack speed for my Rod of Tahuti. Very Pog. He did dash away. I could just blink on him here and potentially kill him, but I think minions might cuck me. My lifesteal is incredible. Holy shit. It's so good. And I can actually go finish my Mannequin Scepter. Yeah, my damage is fucking nuts. Oh my god. Holy shit. You used to never be able to one cycle Bull Demon with Freya's cooldowns. And yet here we are. One cycling bull demon with Freya's cooldowns. You definitely do not win this fight. I do 114 damage per auto to this Phoenix. I do 200 plus damage per auto to him with only my two active, not even with my one. Man. Magical ADCs are about to do so much more than what they used to do.
Now that being said, I don't think that the tier list has changed very much at all. Um, <clears throat> at least from my experience, and I, I've only played about 20 games of duel in season nine, but <clears throat> in those 20 games, it seems like what was good is still good, and what wasn't good is still bad. So I don't know. Take it with a grain. Take it with a grain of salt. But uh, it seems like things are pretty normal still. All right. I got 12 stacks of Nimble Rod without red buff this time. I got my Telkines. Let's go, dude. Not bad at all. A 2.0 attack speed. 2.02. .02, but I actually... Like, I have 2.02 .02 attack speed. But I only have two attack speed items. I have no Toxic Blade. I have like, uh, I have no demonic, no hasten ring. I have no shoguns. I have very fast attack speed without actually needing to build that much attack speed. That's really impressive. That's, that's really, that's really insane. I want to see how many stacks Nimble Rod gives me once I have this red buff. All right, 28% attack speed. I'll take it. Yo, what if I did that Chronos build where I got 2,500 magical power, but I did it with Nimble Rod? You think it would attack speed cap me just on power alone? Like, look at my damage, man. Look at that much damage coming out at 2.1 attack speed. That's... That's absurd. I'm hitting this guy for well over 300 damage in auto. Okay. <sighs> Holy fuck, dude. It's an ambush. That's a crazy build. That's a that's a crazy build. So much power behind each hit and so fast still. That's nuts. I mean, that guy played well, though. He did play well. GG, my dude. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, sub equals 10 cents to charity. And if you want gems for PC, my Nexus link is the first link in the description. Until next time, guys. Peace.